Hello friends, it is Math for Wednesday, the 24th. We are on page 128. It's the back of the one that we did yesterday. So let me take you through this. Share my screen and we'll get started. There it is. There it is, there it is. It looks like, if you remember yesterday, we did the front of this page right here, inches and feet and estimating length. Remember, we talked about estimating. Estimating means kind of um, guessing. We're saying it's about this many. It's not a thousand, but it's not one and a half, one exactly. You see what I'm saying? We're estimating. We're getting between the smallest number and the biggest number and telling you about how much it is. And we've been guessing whether things were inches or feet long and high. So here we go today for this next one. And let's put our name and date up at the top. It is raining. I can hear it. Hmm, rain, imagine that, right? Hasn't been raining for the past ever. Two. 23, 21, and here we go. The directions say, let's listen and repeat. Think of the real object. Mark the measurement. Okay, we're deciding whether things are inches or feet, all right? I've got a pencil on number one. If you think my pencil is six inches long, color in this bubble. If you think my pencil is six feet long, color in this bubble. Going on to number two. I have a ladder and I'm measuring the height on my ladder. If you think my ladder is eight inches tall, mark this one. If you think my ladder is eight feet tall, mark this one. You can pause that if you need to, and when you're ready to go on, just start the video again. The directions for number three say, write greater than, less than, or equal to compare. Okay, we got our alligator mouth. Which one is bigger is the one we point the alligator mouth to. So I've got 12 inches, 12 of these little inches, and one foot. Psst, Remember this? This will give you the answer to this one. All right, and then he, he will do greater than, less than, or equal. And now this next one says two feet, which is two of these, versus seven inches, which is probably about that long, which is bigger, two feet or seven inches. And the next one wants to know which is longer, six feet, I'm sorry, four feet or six feet. Hmm, that's an easy one. Four of these or six of these, which is longer. And the next section asks us, let's read the directions together. Write inches or feet to complete the sentence. Okay, our choices are inches or feet. Feet. A loaf of bread is about 12 blank long. If you think a loaf of bread is 12 inches long, write inches in here. If you think a loaf of bread is 12 feet long, write feet here. Okay. And 
question number seven. A soup can is about four blank tall, four inches tall or four feet tall. Write it in there. And the next one wants to know, it says a large swimming pool is about 10 blank deep, 10 inches deep or 10 feet deep. It's a large swimming pool. Inches or feet, go to. You think a swimming pool is 10 inches, right? Inches here. You think it's 10 feet, right feet here. Okay. This is the one we did yesterday. So I'm going to have you do a lot of stuff on this. Okay, so you're really gonna have to listen up to your directions on this one. We'll read it together. I'll read the direct, listen and repeat the directions. Okay, says solve. Write a sentence to answer the question. Okay, here's my problem, it says, Beth has a ribbon that is 23 inches long. She cut off 11 inches. How much ribbon does Beth have left? All right, here it is, the moment of truth. First thing I want you to do, underline the math question. We've done this so many times. What is the math question? You can find it by your question mark. Coming up to the to math question. Underline that. And then the next thing wants us to find the math word. Okay, I'll give you a clue on this one. Right here. Left is my clue. Okay. And if I look on the math wall, and I make a math sentence, I'm going to use a subtraction minus. Okay. And then we have what number goes in here? What number goes in here? And I'll tell you what number goes in here. Okay? I'm giving you an answer right here. And then I want you to write a sentence over here. Beth has blank inches. Gave you some great free answers there. Okay. Very good. Now, this next one is just kind of a follow the directions. I'll read it to you and you can mark your answer right now. The directions say to mark the answer. And the question, or let me read my choices first. My choices are serving others is important. Traveling is fun, building a houseboat is fun, and Thailand is a pretty country. Ooh, Thailand. Maybe we'll do Thailand for one of our country studies. I'd like to learn more about Thailand. But those are your choices, and let's find out what the question says. It says, Matt and Patty travel to Thailand to help Sonia Lee, a fisherman, build a houseboat. Which is the best reason for Matt 
and Patty to help Sonia Lee. Is the best reason because serving others is important. Color that in if that's what you think. If you think it's important because traveling is fun, color that one. If you think it's important because building a houseboat is fun, color that one. And if you think it's important because Thailand is a pretty country, color this one in. All right, there you have it. That is your math for today. Good job, good job on that. Make sure you do a good job and please, 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 pretty please put sugar on top. Don't forget your name and date, okay? Most important. I will see you soon for handwriting. Bye.